Hey guys, Cutter Up Rob here. I want to talk a little bit about installed stem height on cylinder heads. Now, not all heads care about the installed stem height. They all do to a certain point, but not as relevant in some cylinder heads as others. But anyways, I wanted to talk a little bit on this topic because I was I seen a guy on TikTok that was having an issue with a valve being shorter than the rest when he was checking his sweep of rockers and that'll be another video. But I wanted to talk a little about, about install stem height. Now this is a set of Ford FE heads and well, we don't do lots of them, but there is actually three sets here. It's funny how that works. There's three sets here right now from three separate guys. But I wanted to talk about install stem height. So, talking about installed stem height, I guess it's not just installed stem height, two things. So if you have valves, if you have your, you know, valves, when you have your valves out, some, an easy way to check to see if they're the same height or the grooves are the same is if you put valve to valve like that in your grooves, you can tell if they're the same. That basically is just gonna tell you that this groove, the top of your keeper groove is the same as the bottom of the, the head of the valve because that shouldn't change even if you grind them. Your margin, your bottom of your valve, your margin is gonna get thinner. The bottom of your valve shouldn't change. There's really no reason to actually measure the overall length unless you're doing something custom, but you can if you want and it's pretty easy. All you just do is take a set of of calipers and measure the overall length. Now, both of these are brand new valves, so they're gonna be the same. But, these are actually Chevy valves in a Ford head, but for you guys, I don't know, you probably wouldn't be able to tell the stem size difference. But, what I wanted to talk about, so if you slide your, your valve in there, put your valve in all the way, your installed stem height is the height from, just wanna make sure we got our right camera here. Around, so let's see what we're doing here. There we go. So your installed stem height is going to be going from where your spring sits, right here, right, to the tip of the valve. And I don't remember off the top of my head what these ones were. I wasn't, it was one of the guys that was working on them. But this is the gauge that we use for checking it. And this is the setup tool for it. So that's an inch and a half. And if you're doing two inch ones, then you pull it off and check it with two inch. So now if we put this on here, put this on here. So I guess I should verify it. So this is the gauge. Basically, all you do is just set the gauge in there, like so. Make sure it's zero. There's a foul off, but not a big deal for these things. They're hydraulic rockers, so. So, take it, set it in there. Make sure you get it in that in that sweet spot inside there where the where the valve spring goes. And we are one inch. Sorry, two inch, one hundred and. 56th thou. So now, as long as that stem height is right, you're okay. But what I wanted to show is, so we just put seats in this. So these ones are, are really close to each other, but as the more valve jobs that are done to these cylinder heads, if the, we just put hardened seats in these. But if you were to not have hardened seats or some hardened seats, or it's had a couple of valve jobs, what happens is the valve gets the valve gets deeper. You can't really go by the casting because the casting's wonky. But the deeper the valve is actually going to sit in the cylinder head. So the deeper the valve sits in the cylinder head, that is going to affect how far your installed stem height is. So the longer or the the more it goes into the cylinder head, the farther this point comes out, right? So if you have let's say a set of heads that that's also the reason I number them when I'm putting them together. So I know that they go back in the same spot after I've done stem heights. 
But if you have a set of heads that you're not putting seats in and you're just cleaning the seats up, this one could be 30 or 40 thou deeper than the one beside it. Like the next cylinder beside it on the same intake valve, like in the intake valve. So what you do is you chop a little bit off the end of the valve. That's the only way to, to, to put it in within spec, right? So usually the variance in spec on something like this is like 80 thou difference. So you're usually okay, but you would always, I like to bring them into the middle of spec because then as the valve wears, the valve and the seat wears, you don't come out of spec. Because if you do, especially if it doesn't have hardened seats, then it'll start holding the valve open because the lifter doesn't have enough movement in it. So it holds the valve open or if it doesn't have the right push rods. But the, the, the reason for that the reason I wanted to talk about this was he was talking that that valve was way too short. Now, that could be a problem with the valve. Obviously, I didn't build the heads. I don't know anything about the heads. I don't know what the stem height was, any of that stuff. But if you take this valve and you chop, let's say, 40 thou off the top of it, and then you put that same valve down here in a different hole that didn't need it chopped off, now you're 40 thou too low, right? So... That's why I wanted to talk about this. So installed stem height does play a role in this type of stuff. Especially with this. If you have adjustable rockers, it's not as is not as a big a deal as long as it's not like really crazy out of the way. And though if it's really crazy, what happens is when your rocker's coming and touching the come and touching the valve, basically you want your rocker just so you have an idea for this install stem height. That's the rocker and the um, lifter, if you have hydraulic lifters. You basically want that lifter where you see where I just put that one. I guess I can take that out. It doesn't need to be in there. You basically, if I could get it straight. You basically want your rocker to hit a pack like a path like that on the, the head of the valve. So the easiest way to do that, if you're checking for push rod length, because that's going to dictate some of it is push rod length. What you do is I take Sharpie marker, just black the end like that, and then roll the motor over by hand on the stand, and it'll actually take off. It'll wear that spot. You don't put any oil on it. You It'll wear the, the marker off. You roll it over two or three times, and then it'll tell you where it's hitting. So then you can decide, oh, do I need longer push rods? Do I need shorter push rods? And that's assuming that the cylinder head is within spec of what it's supposed to be. If an engine machine shop does it, they should be in spec if they're not idiots. But pretty simple. This isn't a really long video. I just thought I would talk about it a little bit just so that you guys, I want to part, start putting out videos kind of talking about some of this stuff. So if you are putting a set of cylinder heads together, you, you should be measuring this stuff. Now I realize that not everybody is going to have a set of like, you know, a set of these, then it's not that expensive. If you're building engines, you could buy a set. The screwdriver doesn't go in there, but, or it doesn't come with it, but um, the, they're not super expensive, but there is other ways to do it. You can do it with a set of calipers. Uh, you can do it, you can do it a bunch of different ways. You could make a gauge and then measure it with a pair of calipers if you really wanted to, because it's not like a thou, you know, a couple thou doesn't really make that much of a difference on something like this, but 20 or 30 thou does make a difference. If you're 20 or 30 thou over spec, you can have issues, especially if the cylinder head's been surfaced, the block has been surfaced because now the push rods have to change the length or if you're putting different heads on a different block, that type of stuff, you want to keep that in mind. So that's the end of this one. Remember, like, subscribe, hit me down in the comments and it's not rocket science.